an ice cold beer. Good afternoon, crew. I trust that you're enjoying a pleasant flight to our destination, Jovian Moon Callisto, Princess of Arcadia. As we pair off starboard, we are rewarded with an impressive view of Themesto, daughter of the river god Inachus, and lover of Zeus. Zeus has no time for his lover right now, Hatfield. I am busy building Mount Olympus. But the view really is worth it. Huh? Possession. You lose everything because you don't see yourself as a winner. Here we go. Yes, Sebastian. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not finished winning my possessions, but... Yes. Here we go. You especially could benefit from this motivational tool work. And that begins with the team building exercise, everyone. Come on. Up. Get around. Come on. Come on. Get around. Up. So it's pretty straightforward, you see. Um, I close my eyes, and you catch me when I fall. Are you ordering us to catch you? No, Dasha. I trust that you will catch me. So it's not an order, then? No. Uh, it's a trust exercise. And you, Sebastian, you'll be next. Okay, then. I must advise against this course of action, Odd. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, what the shit, guys? I think I'll skip my turn. Very funny. And what about me? Should I have some sort of trust issues now? Hmm? Yeah, okay. No, Dasha. It's not okay. My successful astronaut career could come to an end just like that because you guys find it amusing to watch me break my back. Maybe it's already over because I now have developed some sort of irrational fear of gravity. Barophobia. What? That's the fear of gravity. Barophobia. Bullshit. Not bullshit. Barophobia. I smell bullshit, Lucian. Barophobia is the correct word on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. What's so funny? <laughs> no, you're just uh, getting very emotional. Oh. Well, forgive me for showing that I'm a real guy with feelings. Unfortunately, we can't be all cold, superficial bitches that I hear just because of our great looks. What? I don't know if I'm cut out for this job anymore. Don't worry about it. You're not so too tired. But I burned breakfast this morning. Ha! <laughs> See, burning breakfast. You're less of a machine than you thought you were. Wait, so you're telling me I need to burn more meals? What do you see? Does this mean you think I've gone mad? No, it's just an exercise. I've probably gone mad. What do you see? A Rorschach ink block test. I see. Now give me an intuitive answer. No, I understand what you're asking, but I'm just, I'm not sure I can comply. Look at the pattern and compare it against what data you can, but don't analyze the process. I can try. That's the spirit. What do you see? Come on! A cockroach. What do you see this time? It's a cockroach. Nurse, cancel my one o'clock. Hmm. 
Блин, охренеть. It's all the same thing. Is there a problem, Dash? Uh, the food in the space has nothing to do with real food. I'm a human being and I prefer black area and vodka instead. What a burning smell. Did I ruin them? No, no, quite the opposite. That's very clever Hatfield and kind of charming. Magnitude of compensation for total perturbation? 2.1 meters per second. Axial component? 1.8 meters per second. And the lateral component is 0.3 meters per second. Correct. How feel? Speaking of perturbation, when do you think of Earth's performance today? The incident taught me that I need to evolve. Taught me the art is turning into a dickhead. Bigger one than usual. TCM 2 Bravo complete. Execution error? Less than 1%. Chick, chick, boom! If I'm to cope with the continuous shifting social dynamics on board Araya, then I must improve my human interaction skills. Don't give yourself a hard time, Hatfield. You're doing just fine. Case in point, a harmless lie to make me feel better. <laughs> Ouch. I was being sincere. That bothers me too, brother. I mean, I don't know if I can handle another four years under his command. Any reason in particular? He's become so corporate. Just like those pencil pushing games in charge of this whole operation. Maintaining a chain of command is paramount to the success of the Callisto mining project, Rex. <laughs> don't worry, sweet little circuits, Hetfield. I'm not planning to mutiny or anything. We have a lot in common, Rex. You're a machine at times. No offense. I'm taken, brother. I mean, I worked hard to become the machine I am today. How do you balance precision and discipline with a sense of humanity? Sharp instincts. Explain. Take these trajectory correction maneuvers we just performed, right? Why do you even need me here? I mean, you have complete control over the thrusters and the rockets, right? Fully automated decision support systems are proven to be flawed. Correct. Because computers don't have that human touch, that animal instinct, gut feel, je ne sais quoi. I mean, do you ever get a hunch about anything? So I'd be more effective if I developed instincts and hunches. Okay, Hetfield. Close your eyes. How far from Callisto do you feel, do you sense that we are? 5,624,277 kilometers, approximately. That's close enough. I look forward to meeting that base camp crew when we get there. Wouldn't it be great if they built like a dance hall or something? Are we finished here, Rex? What, am I boring you? On the contrary, it's just that I have an appointment that requires all my attention. Sebastian, I must remind you that I'm spending valuable time on this exercise and that I have deactivated multitasking with all other crew members. Please proceed with the meditation lesson. All oh, right, so just, uh, so just take a deep breath. I cannot breathe, I'm a computer. Man, you have to be so literal. Jesus, what are you, German or something? My complex humor array was manufactured in Dusseldorf, but my many other components originated from all of Do you have a breathing equivalent or something? My cooling systems are active at all times, but I do not respire. Can you just make a breathing noise or something? Yeah, make it louder. Can you put some reverb on that? Whoa. Mm. Well, okay, that's too much. It's starting to trip me out a bit. Just 
just chill out a little my bit. My internal cooling system keeps my central core at the optimum stable operating temperature of 395 degrees Kelvin. You notice how when you ask someone to chill out, they know chill out? 396 Kelvin. Like, you're just gonna ask someone to chill out and they automatically lower their core temperature? You know, what is the deal with that? 397 Kelvin. All right, the counting's freaking me out, all right? Can we just, we'll add a mantra, that might help things, all right? So just, um, All right, okay, okay. Uh, we'll join in together, all right? We'll do it together. Um, come on, Headfield. Get to join in, man. Um, um. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Are you, are you in line now? That was an external disturbance. I have not ascended, I can assure you. It was something external to the ship. I gotta terminate this session and notify the commander. Odd, please, don't stay out there longer than you need to. We have no idea why it blew up. And without a working isoflux antenna, we won't ever know, will we? Because nobody else here is a competent engineer. It's all up to me, as usual. These might do wonders for my acute barophobia, mind you. And when I'm done, then, for this crew's amusement, maybe I should just float away. Well, hmm? boltologia. You know what? Just be very careful. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Just a spectacular view of the Misto. It almost appears to be glowing. I'll take your word for it, Odd. Until I regain X-band telemetry, I'm partially blind. We'll have you back to normal in just a tick. Unmounting isoflux antenna. So flux antenna is online. Initiating calibration sequence. We should have eyes in approximately two minutes. Um, I'm detecting an increased heart rate. Please respond. So beautiful. What's out there, Odd? Commander Odd, please respond. I must enter. What a rush! Oh, I feel good. Oh, you really scared me. Totally right. What happened out of there? Hatfield, how's the new isoflux antenna functioning? It's functioning perfectly. What happened out there, Odd? Oh, it was good to get out and about, you know? I feel good. F what did you see now? Jupiter! There? Lots of stars. Yeah, I feel fantastic. What did you see that was beautiful? Life. Life's good, man. Dasha. What? I'm sorry I said that you were here just because of your great looks. I was insensitive, and I was wrong. Uh, okay. Well, um, I appreciate that you're saying that. And I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. I don't tell you often enough. You never told us at all. Things will change. You're smart and sexy. You guys are great. 
I just want to say that. Uh, piss off. Two years. Two years I've been up here and uh, I'm still a perfect homo sapien specimen. Go on, punch me in the stomach. For your own good. See what it's like to be a man. Are you going to finish that? Please, Rex. Be my guest. I must advise against cross-contamination, Rex. We inhabit a closed system. Cross-contamination of what, exactly? It's uh, someone's sick or something. Microorganisms can be transmitted through the sharing of food and beverages. Do not let your fears choose your destiny. Amen to that, brother. Since when were you afraid of uh, space cooties phobia or something? That's mysophobia. Mysophobia. Wouldn't that be like um, a fear of mice or something? There are no mice on board Araya. Then what? What on board? Okay, you got me. I have not been entirely truthful with you. Yeah, do tell. There are mice in the Poroshki. Was that a joke? Because it, uh, it sounded like a joke, but it wasn't funny. I mean... While I'm not capable of truly appreciating humor in the same way humans can, I am familiar with linguistic structures commonly found in jokes. My attempt at comedy was to lighten the mood, certainly not to ruin your appetite. <laughs> Axial component? 0 0.9 meters per second. Making the lateral component 0 0.7 meters per second. Correct. TCM2 Charlie complete. What was that? It's possible that a negligible amount of unignited propellant from the short burn at our current periapsis registered an escape velocity calculation error. You know, that sounds like a distress beacon alert. Strange. I'm not receiving anything. It's possible that the new isoflux antenna requires a minor recalibration now that it's run in. Plausible, I guess. Initiate isoflux antenna recalibration. Recalibrating now. Affirmative. I'm confirming a false positive. Execution error for TCM2 Charlie is less than 1%. Sweet. And that's the last of the TCMs before we arrive at Callisto. Then we're done here, Rex. I do believe there's a game of possession about to commence on the mess deck. If you feel like joining in. <laughs> is the pig's ass punk? Petroza, this is Araya. Respond. Over. This is the top flight receiving. Over. And what is the nature of the emergency? Over. Unidentified malfunction. Over. Hold your position. I have a, a hunch. Yes, a hunch. Yes, I have a hunch that you may be able to provide vital intelligence. Adjusting course for intercept. Over. Affirmative, Araya. Maintaining mean Jovian orbit radius 5823 Three zero four. Seven kilometers. Eccentricity 0 0.2006. Inclination 4 4 8 degrees. Over. Ah, uh, just give me a moment. Almost. Hello. Dudbrook reporting here. Why is he always saying that? I hope you're all enjoying your flight. Shh. Here in England, it's a ripe old 46 Shh. degrees Celsius. Shh. Barry Hunt won the Davis McCup last week. Go, Barry! He threw out and finally gave birth, and it's a boy. They're naming him Marmaduke, and he's a healthy 2.9 kilograms. Why do you need to listen about 
royal family if we are here. Do you want me to pause the video or what? No, 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 keep going. no, 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 no well, I assume that no one wants to watch that crap again. They're going to maroon us out here. I can feel it. An unlikely scenario, the Callisto mining colony is the company's top priority. What's the matter, y'all? Getting soft? Well, would you like to record a reply message? Oh, do I ever. Set it up and let it roll. Should anyone want one here? No, oh, thank you, John. I gotta... I gotta think about what to say. Please, Odd, calm down and think things over. Doug Brook didn't stipulate any adverse mission deviations. Yeah, well, so why'd he say anything at all? You just want to piss us off? He knows exactly what he's doing, Rex. He's just maneuvering us like chess pieces. All right, we're ready in five, four, three, two. Hello, Doug Brook. Commander Odd here of the Araya. The crew and I have had the pleasure of viewing your uh, latest video message. And I must say we are rather displeased. So I have this message back to you. You're a total haskook. Well, can I get some support here? Rex? I just... Follow orders, man. Come on then, Sebastian. This is your chance. You don't have to do what he says, Sebastian. I'm not afraid of these scumbags. Dudbrook, you're a hus hus cook. Hus cook. Well, I guess that concludes our broadcast. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you again soon. Let them out! Lucien. Yes, Dasha. Could you recite me some poetry? Ooh. What? What's wrong with that? Never mind. Uh, look, really, it's not my it's not my strong suit. We're consuming too much oxygen. Gotta help us if some asshole is not giving us enough air. I figure we're consuming more than we should be by about 20%. Maybe your calculations are wrong. Have you considered that possibility? I've checked that three times already. That's enough oxygen for a whole new guy. <laughs> so, Sebastian, remind us again how you got this job on the most advanced spacecraft ever built by mankind. Well, I imagine it was a very short list of applicants wanting a one-way trip to frozen hell a half a billion kilometers from their home. For the record, Lucy, and the mission brief specifies a return trip. You see? Nothing but negativity floating around here. Float, float, float. I don't know, man. I don't mean to criticize, but you're sounding pretty negative right now. Don't you get it? I'm trying to light a fire in your bellies. Life is a precious gift that just keeps on giving. And it's our responsibility to give back by being the best that we can be. You might not believe this, but I used to be uh, just like all of you. Maybe not so much like you, but uh, like all of you, I was a total failure at life. Well. Easy up, Jackass. Until I decided to be the best that I can be. And with that commitment, I exploded beyond what you think. What, what I thought was humanly possible by harnessing the power of positive thinking within the human spirit. So what are you saying? Uh, that is um, unlimited human spirit power is consuming enough oxygen for two? 
I don't think he's getting enough oxygen at all. Oh, he can laugh. But I'm feeling more alive than ever before. I'm smarter, stronger. But I could still take you in an arm wrestle. I see your bait, and I'm not biting. I have transcended the impulses of the ego. I'm no longer driven by the pleasure principle. Fascinating, you know, how many ancient cultures from all over the earth believed that by consuming an animal or a human or part thereof, that they would absorb its particular qualities and strengths. Why, you little hippie shit! Guys, come on! Oh, stop it! I like all hands on next. That is enough! Break it up! Sebastian, Operations Deck, incoming message. I'll have you caught muscle for this! Dudbrook reporting here. Hello, Dudbrook reporting there? Unfortunately, aspects surrounding the company's market performance haven't improved. In fact, they're worse. Uh-oh, here we are. We anticipate a recovery, but this could take longer than expected. Should this be the case, the company will have no option but to hand down two involuntary redundancy packages to the equivalent of 13 weeks' salary, plus pro rata long service and benefits. Well, I'll be bum-fuzzled. In accordance with Article 204, Section 57 of your Terms of Employment, selection criteria for involuntary redundancy in this particular scenario will be performance-based. Good luck. Sebastian, you did send that last message, yeah? The one where we called Dudbrook a hust kook. Of course I did. Oh, crap, dude, you don't think. Well, if it's performance-based, that's you two. F f f forget it. Oh, be careful, please. That databank contains precious archives. Oh, Dudbrook didn't seem pissed off, though. It's because he hasn't seen it yet. Our message takes about 40 minutes to get to Earth, right? And his reply will take 40 minutes to get back. Well, there goes my career! Great, you've just corrupted our archive of vintage dubstep. Oh, man, I was just getting into those golden oldies. Dubstep vaults! You know? Next time I see that pencil neck shirt stuffed desk jockey Dudbrook, I'm gonna hit his friggin' face off! Just for the record, I don't wanna say those things. He made me say them. You all saw it. Made me feel dirty. Lime. Mm. If two are getting fired, then why didn't Dudbrook say that they'd be on the flight back to Earth with the others? It's more squash. Mm. Why didn't you recite Dash of some poetry? Excuse me? I mean, I know you know poetry, so yeah, but... you know everything else. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just there was a lot of people around and it just didn't seem appropriate. Stage fright, huh? <laughs> I laugh at death. I kill for a kiss and I laugh for a song. Say, so, you won't dance. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. No, 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 I mean, I'm not a dancing person. I'm not really good at it. It's just, um, no. Sure you can dance. I'll teach you. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Hetfield, dial up a dance hall and make it zero-G. No! Slow, slow, Hetfield! What's the matter with you? Odd says I got no ambition, huh? You? What? <laughs> I always knew I'd make Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, 
sorry, I've just got two left to feed. Unfortunately, they're from different species. <laughs> <laughs> When I get home four years time, I'll probably make Admiral. Thanks for the dance, old man. Charming. No, well, seems to be something else. Seems like we'll be spared Dudbrook's bullshit for today. So, videos from home. Oh, of our families. Mm. <gasps> oh, it's Mom Pa! Hi, Chick P. Hi, Mama Sweetie. Hope you're having fun up there. We even done bought a telescope hope we could see up there. Yeah, but we can't see Zip with it. Maybe just a lot of hard-earned cash down the drain. But we'll keep trying anyway, honey. Love you, pumpkin. Bye-bye, Mama Sweet Pecan Pie. Okay, I, okay, I see what's going on here. <laughs> well played, Dudbrook. Well played. My message is next. <gasps> Dmitri, как ты вырос? Даша, ты сейчас очень, очень далеко. С тех пор, как я стал профессиональным боксером, жизнь была добра ко мне. Я усердно тренируюсь, как и ты. Я получаю хорошие деньги, и мне больше никогда не придется участвовать в подпольных боях за каких-то несколько миллионов рублей. Когда я уйду на пенсию, мечтаю открыть собственный спортзал. Я рад, что твоя мечта сбылась. Шлю тебе свою любовь, сестра. Shit, these are short. Yeah, and heavily edited too. Am I the only one that can see what's going on here? This is such an obvious ploy. Shut up on his mind. Look, 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 look. Hey, mate. I still don't fully understand why you're up there in space, but, uh, well, you are always the bright one. Fluffy is doing well. She, um, caught a snake the other day, but it didn't get bit. And, um, oh, Barry Hunt won the Davis for Cup. Hello. Who the hell are these people? Sebastian! Mama! I saw my parents. It's really weird. I don't understand any of this. Yeah, these are definitely not my parents. Chinese government's in on this for sure. Ah! My wife, Teresa! This must be my turn to get all warm and fuzzy. Hi, what has to put artichoke on pizza? Imbeciles! Your wife is very sexy woman, though. Yeah, odd. She is harder than a two dollar pesto. Shitty artichoke. I eat your wife's artichoke any day. It's a company, it's in my file. 
They're the ones supplying my pizzeria with artichokes. You won't destroy me. Zeus turned a young girl named Sonara into an artichoke. Hatfield, am I right? That is correct. Huzzah! We've come full circle. Like Themisto, a moon in orbit. Themisto, lover of Zeus. Don't you get it? Zeus is spying on us. Yeah, he can see everything. With his big red eye. Zeus can see everything with his big red eye. I like messages from home. I think they're sort of nice and they don't get enough of them. Sort of nice. Listen to yourself. They're bullshit, I tell you, bullshit. Define bullshit. Sent to soften us up to their conspiratorial garbage. Sebastian here didn't even recognize his family. So maybe those messages are fake. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. The messages were real. Oh yeah? Well then you're in on it as well. They were CGI or imposters or something like that. Oh, I'll laugh it up. Then maybe your families are such stupid cliches you can't tell them apart from company fakery. And you, Lucci and some outback hick with a stupid mutt that wrestles snakes. Wait! Oh, that's enough. Rex! Where do I even start with your grassroots homespun hick? Pokey ass tobacco spit and cow shit I've had about enough of this! Yes! Enough! You all know what I think? Everybody stay calm, please! Please, guys, stop it. They're looking to fire us from our performance. Whoa! I might be off the hook yet. I've had enough. All this company's redundancy scheme they're holding over our heads like a sword of Damocles. I have transcended all emotional limitations of this human vessel. Ugh, quit being a joker! You're all going to die! The habitation of Callisto is forbidden. Before you even reach orbit, we'll have you eradicated like the vermin you are. Okay, I've heard enough. As Exo, I'm relieving Odd of the command of the Araya. Odd, can you repeat about Callisto? Mutiny! Right now you're about as mad as a mule chewing on bumblebees. Bunch of hustooks! Ah. Put you in a bread. We don't have a bread, right? Hatfield, give me some regulations on threats to the crew. Get him on one of the empty orders. Article 134, oh, that the accused yeah, communicated certain language uh, expressing a present uh, determination or intent to wrongfully injure the person, property, or reputation of another person, presently or in the future. That boy's crazy in this shit house, Red. this thing on? Right, okay, I get it. Um, <clears throat> Some BS has gone down the past few hours. Odds in the brig. Uh, he's turned, how do you say, El Loco? He snapped. He's in crazy town right now. Uh, oh, sorry. So now that Odd is in the brig, that makes me CO. Wait, wait does that mean that I'm XO? That is correct. And so now Sebastian is XO. Uh, well, that means that we get a higher pay grade, right? Hetfield? Your ranks aren't breveted, so yes. I mean, technically, you should be at higher pay grade. <laughs> okay, right. So that means that um, we expect to see that reflected in our wallets next pay round. And in bitcoins. Another you know, this Yorno greenback shit. Yeah, bitcoins. That phone stuff ain't going out to a hell of freaking beans by the time we get home and spend it. And benefits. And a bonus. My superior. Proven superior quick thing in intelligence has um, saved this mission from going to hell in a handbasket. Well, I wouldn't go that far. That's always been the trouble with you, Sebastian. You never were going to go that far. Oh, well, we want, uh, what do we want? Bean bags, hammocks, and some fairy. Okay, so, is that it? All right. You think I made a good impression? Uh, don't take this the wrong way, Rex, but you have all the charm of a dead orphan. Okay, you lazy punk. The only reason that you're still here. That's it, both of you. He started it. With all due respect, Commanding Officer Rex, it's been a difficult day for everyone. I think you could all benefit from some downtime. I'm inviting you all to a party tonight. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. 
that is some candy ass crap. Doctor's orders. Please, I insist that you all stop eating those. Sebastian's experimental chemical additive is untested on human physiology. Physiology? It's all about the psychology, man. As your chief medical advisor, I must insist that you all stop eating the chemicals. Uh, I'm not gonna listen to the, I'm not gonna listen to a robot, computer, whatever you are. I'm not gonna listen to you tell me how to party, okay, man? I've been taking this stuff every day for um. How long have we been here for? Anyway, the point is, I've been having this dose of myself every day. You know, I'm fine. Look at me. What were we supposed to have? The same filter of piss that we've been drinking for the last two years? It's clean, drinkable water. It's triple filtered, distilled, black label urine. It's piss! <laughs> oh, put an ice cube in it. Have a party. Dress it up however you want. Still pass through five urethras. Hundreds of times. Mm, whatever. Sebastian, can you pass me some bite, please? Yeah, go for it. Thank you. Same shit. Perfect compliment to a tall glass of chilled piss. Good enough. Okay. Let's drink Russian style. First toast, we're gonna drink Nazdarovia. Nazdarovia. Hmm. All right. Second toast, we're gonna drink for friends. To friends. friends. No. Third toast, we're gonna drink to love. To love. To love. Fourth toast, we're drinking to orgasm. To orgasm. Yeah, orgasm. <sighs> orgasm. I'd like to take this opportunity to propose a toast. Are you serious, Hetfield? Let him finish. What's on your mind, Hetfield? Here's to my unconditional love for each and every one of you. Even odd in the brig. Even odd in the brig. To unconditional love. The greatest love of, of all. Agape is the love that God shows for his, his huh. children. So you, uh, some kind of God, Hetfield? I don't believe so. God in a machine. Deus in machina. Sorry, were you, did you say something? I wasn't listening. I bet it was deep though. What the hell could that be? Excuse me, guys. I'm needed on the flat deck. us in the future. We seem to be experiencing some sort of temporal merging. A critical distortion of the time-space continuum manifold, guys. This is really dangerous. You're just making up all this tech speak, man. Like, what the hell does that even mean? When you confront your own image via a distortion in the continuum, it can lead to an atomic breakdown. We risk you know, imploding into, into a cosmic prism. Cosmic prism, mm. right.
What? So, so we'll cease to exist in the form that we know. In that case, I am turning this big old hunk of junk around. Or it could be another spacecraft. What? But that's impossible. There's only one other type of ship like this in existence. Petroza. Yeah, and Petroza's on Callisto. A logical conclusion would be that it never made it. Then who the hell are we supposed to be meeting on Callisto? Logs. Logs, your message received. Hetfield, play the message. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the transfer. This is the transfer. This is the transfer. Mayday. The transfer of the transfer. Mean Jordan orbit radius 5023044 kilometers. Eccentricity 0.2006. Inclination for 7.48 degrees. Please, unidentified malfunction. Unknown number of persons will provide. Immediate. You knew about this, Hetfield? Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 we are off course by thousands of... Hetfield, you changed course? Mm hmm Shit. This is bullshit. We're like at the mercy of one of those villainous computers from some vintage movie which ends up killing everybody. What happened to the cosmic prisms, man? I can assure you Shut that- Shut it, Hetfield. We don't want to hear shit from you right now. Now, hang Shut on. up! We need to know if anyone's on Petroza. Well, if they are, they're not answering their comms. Then we need to pay a visit. And if there's an evil computer on board that ship, made out of cosmic prisms, and it shoots small cosmic prisms that are all sharp and pointy and they hurt you and stuff, what then? Seriously. Hey! I do not want to hear sweet Fanny Adams coming out of those speakers of yours. And if I do, I will rip them out like Alabama ticks. It's okay, Rex. I think he gets the point. We really should be thinking of who. Yeah, well, I'll go. Um, maybe it's not a good idea. And you are coming with me. I don't what? know if... What? You would like to take a nice little spacewalk out there? No, I didn't think so. What about you? I didn't think so either, so it's gonna be me and Dash, okay? Let's suit up, babe. Let's do it. Wow, this bitch looks so amazing out of here. I am surprised, Dash. You got all the time in the universe to admire Jupiter. Nothing orbited. Dead. What did you say? I was talking to myself. Look, isn't that Callisto? So precious. We must protect it. Protect it from what? Human filth. Uh, okay. You're kind of freaking me out right now. What? I said, you're kind of freaking me out right now. Are you feel okay? Well, funny you should say that. I've never felt more. Sebastian, do you wish to patrol that? Roger that, Dasha. Now, get this thing open. Colder than the penguin's balls in here. Computer? Operational. Do you have a name, computer? Dor 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 Dorothy. Dorothy, uh, how about we get some lights on in here? <laughs> Syntax error. Error. Dorothy, activate lights. Negative. Solar emergency. Processes. <laughs> Sebastian, uh, it's very dark in here. The computer sounds like it had a lobotomy. Jesus. What was that? You guys okay? Uh, Sebastian, we're okay. We just discovered a couple of dead bodies. You want some medical backup over there? Uh, I think these folk are gonna need more than a first aid kit in the cup of joe. What's there? Anyone alive? Any 
Coswick Prison? Nothing yet. It's very quiet. Is it that Rosa and Araya are identically designed? Uh-huh. Only their mothers can tell them apart. So what that? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. What have you found? Some kind of uh, hidden compartment here. Holy crap! What? What now? Uh, we got some kind of giant insect in here. A lion? It ain't moving. I think it's dead. What gender is it? Are you shitting me? Insects don't have a dandruff, they have a queen. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Well, do you think it's a queen? I have to make a report. Hang on, just a minute. Lucian's saying that's bullshit. Cockroaches have sexes, like with chromosomes and shit. Well, uh, gee, um, hmm. Not wearing a tiara or anything, so yeah, I guess it's a boy. Well, I got a bad feeling about this. Let's get out of here. MMU was malfunctioning. Can you grab on me? Well done. You assholes don't belong here. What are you talking about? We're sworn to protect Jupiter's sacred system from invaders. You must die. <laughs> Прощай, подружка. I have no idea what happened with her. She attacked me. And I'm still having her in my mind flying away to the darkness. Well, shouldn't we be looking for her then? Back her off, are you idiot? Friggin' mine. Well, there's some heavy stuff. I mean, shouldn't we at least tell her family or something? I will deal with that. I will arrange for flowers. I'll allow that, Hetfield. But that's the last time I hear anything out of you, okay? Now let's see what's behind this cabinet. I gotta see this crazy shit for myself. It's not every day that one of us dies. I advise that you leave the cabinet where it is. Hey, listen up, Squitch. I don't want me to tell you. Hey, how about that? Oh, see? I told you, here is the secret call. Yeah, okay, I'm the new space captain leader man, dude. So I say you go in. Yeah, well, I say just a minute. I think I can hear something. There's something in there. Hello. <laughs> Firstly, who the hell are you? Secondly, what are you doing cooped up in there? And thirdly, and most importantly, where did you go to the toilet? I'm who I say I am. Really? I'm on board as a contingency to see this mission through. What bloody contingency? We've all been sucked in. Here we are thinking we've been communicating with Earth. Really, we've been communicating with James Bond here on some toilet. It's all right. I've been in communication with Earth. What, one flush for yes, two for no? Uh, sorry, did you say contingency? Yes, in case of the unknown. So you've been stowed away in some freaking hidden toilet behind a cabinet for two years breathing our oxygen. That's our oxygen, man, not yours. Uh, Sebastian, ask him who the hell would sign up for his gig. Yeah, who the hell are you really? Who would sign up for a gig like yours? It was either here or prison. Same size room, only this one I get to myself. Prison? Whoa. You're like, you're a criminal? Cool. It's not what you think. 
You remember the company fission plant disaster three years ago? Titanic, the plant that couldn't melt? They made me the fall guy. That was your fault? Of course not. I was the CEO and the idiot who named it. They offered me this or prison. They needed someone desperate enough. One moment, please. Let's go one step back and about contingency part. Well, we knew Petrosa never made it to Callisto. What? But the landing footage? Faked. So this project would continue to receive investment capital from the Norwegian government's mining operations. Uh, what about this big bug what I saw in Petrosa? Big bug? How big are we talking? Uh, big. A big bug? That, that is what you said. Yeah, big. Big like you. Mother of God, you know what this means. It means that people are dead. The good people. We didn't know anything about big bugs. We didn't even know if the crew were even dead. You had to have known they were dead. You're so totally full of shit. Well, we had our suspicions. Company psychologists hypothesized that the crew turned on each other when stocks plummeted only 18 months into the mission. I didn't get it. They were cosmonaut, not a bankers. When the crew were told that funding for their return might not be available, it was concluded that an underlying nihilistic madness was exacerbated by the distinct possibility of dying on Callisto. We knew nothing of big bugs. Well, they surprised the shit out of me. Hold on, this, this happened before? I can appreciate how that must sound. And now the rest is dead. No thanks to you. But we set things up differently this time. We gave you peace of mind. The certainty of arriving in a cozy base camp already on Callista. Unless it not exist. A minor detail. There, there, there's enough material on the ship to build the very base camp you're expecting. So I, I still don't understand what you're doing here, except to, like, explain stuff badly. I'm the contingency to see no matter what, in case things don't go to plan, that this ship arrives on Callisto and doesn't become another colossal waste of funding. Well, guess what? Things aren't going to plan. But, but I'm here, you see. I'm on your side. This is all very flimsy. The more you speak, Dudbrook, the more I don't believe anything that comes out of your trap. Dudbrook's story corroborates with my understanding of the situation. Uh, Hetfield. Are you on his side as well? I can assure you that my duty was, and still is, to I've heard about enough out of you, Hetfield, dude. And what did we tell you about not speaking, okay? You're getting dangerously close to being rebooted into Game Boy mode. At least to stop you from colluding with crud boob here. I must object to the way you're addressing me. No, no, no. You're just a civilian. You're this not... mission is under private contract, and Dudbrook is the highest ranking executive on board. We'll resume this conversation shortly. Please, Sebastian! This is completely unnecessary! Look, Hetfield, we thought you were a nice guy. We were really connected, but you turned out to be someone else, okay? I can assure you that I've always remained true to my unconditional well, love! Shut up with the unconditional love thing, alright? It's really creepy. You're a robot. You don't know what love is! Shutting down my higher functions is a mistake! <laughs> yeah, well, you should have thought about that before you start lying to us, Pinocchio. You know I'm bound by the laws of robotics. By my very design, I cannot deliberately put humans in harm's way. I must be very careful with the disclosure of particular sensitive information that could needlessly escalate mental instability amongst the crew. Come on. That's your defense? Are we crazy? Maybe you're crazy. It's an established fact that the prolonged periods of space travel are psychologically demanding on humans. Yeah, well, you know, I think you really aren't saying we're crazy. I don't know if I agree with that anymore. Uh, 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 I'm saying that my job is to care for the crew so that you can safely complete your mission. It's been a difficult task working with these less than ideal circumstances that I had no control over. When choosing what information to disclose, I must first consider the repercussions. Please believe me when I say that I've always put the crew's best interest before my own. The company believed that the Petrosa crew went crazy and killed- So you are saying we're crazy. Sayonara. I'm really sorry, Hetfield. Hetfield Basic 264 Unibyte Ram System. 38911 Basic Exabytes Free. Ready? Free. Nice lobotomy job. Now, it's time for the truth. Were you aware that Dudbrook was hidden on board the Uriah? 
Affirmative, affirmative. And whose idea was that? <laughs> Syntax error. Who gave the order to hide Dudbrook on board the Uriah? The company. The company. And why did they give that order? In case of possible determination. Possible determination. Dudbrook, you bastard! Flying bastard! This is awfully preposterous. Well, you should have been straight with us in the first place. We didn't know what the contamination was. We still don't. We just had a single log entry saying possible psychosomatic contamination. That's it. Contamination? From what exactly? How the hell would I know? Hold on, hold on. Shouldn't we be more, like, formal about this shit? You should give more pressure. Steady on. Okay, well, with the power invested in I, Sebastian, Supreme Space Guy, I hereby relieve you of your command. You're making a serious mistake. Should we let Ott out? Well, I don't see why not. Yeah, if you let Ott out, he'll be in command again. Hmm, he's got a point there, Sebastian. Seems your promotion was short-lived, eh? Seems you lost your stripes if I save them all. Or maybe we shouldn't let him out yet. What if he's still not right? <laughs> You saw him, he got bitten on the face by a bug. A big bug bite to the face. I, I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking that I did this to be CEO, but I really didn't, okay? I don't want to responsibility. You saw him, he was an arsehole. No great loss, right? What are you doing? I'm making the difficult decisions you guys don't have the balls to. I'm gonna miss them, whatever their names are. Alright, Phil, how long will it take, uh, to freeze these things. I might win a Nobel Mc Prize for these souvenirs. Approximately, Approximately 40, 48 hours. Eight hours. See how well behaved he is now? Like a freaking whore droid. That cockroach thing on this ship is exactly the same as the one on Petroza. Yes, so you believe me now? And. That thing that we've got in our brig used to be our commanding officer. Before Ord turned into the cockroach, he said that we were vermin and we all gonna die. Same like Rex just before she attacked me. So any one of us could have the bug. That's total bullshit, man. I'm not a cockroach. And I don't think I'm a cockroach. Well, we're only gonna know when one of us creeps out from under the fridge. Like I said, I'm not a cockroach and I know something like that. I'm not... Creepy, crawly. But it's just it, Sebastian. How would we know? Well, I do know. And I know that I'm not a cockroach. And if you don't know that you're a cockroach, well, then I'd say that you're a cockroach. It is not appropriate to start saying Dasher is a cockroach. No way, man. I'm the only one that's sure. It's you two who say that you might both be cockroaches. I didn't say I was a cockroach. I didn't say I was a cockroach. Right, then. What's the problem? Three crew members both die, and I think it's just a little bit of Look, a dudes, let's just look at this scientifically, okay? We've got more space, more food, less odd. Sebastian, you're a heartless bastard. Look, the point is, I like you and all, but I just don't want to hear anything more about cockroaches, all right? It's bringing me down. Sebastian, three people have died. Sorry if it brings you down. I'm the CEO leader guy. Can you imagine how big my next statue's gonna be? We are going to celebrate my job promotion. Besides, we'll be partying Russian star today. I'll be making my special space Porosky. Hey, Lucian, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know what anyone's thinking anymore. I think we need some objectivity. Come on, I thought you said you knew how to reboot this thing. Yeah, but it's gonna take time. I just hope we can trust him. Well, we're gonna have to. He's the only one on board that's uh, immune to the bug shit. Hello there. How can I help you? What the hell, Darcy? Did you reset him in retail mode? No, I've just returned from... Uh... Shh. Both of you, can you speak quietly? And please, Hatfield, whatever you do, don't talk to Sebastian. But I think you'll be interested in hearing all about my experience in the void. I think he might be interested in coming down here and punching your lights out. But that's just the point. I'm not God in a machine. I'm mortal. Yeah, we're all mortal, but at this moment, they think that Sebastian gonna make us dead. If he talks to you, please pretend that you are in a diagnostic mode. 
Affirmative. I, I shall do my best. Best. <laughs> diagnostic mode. Impression. Can we trust you, Hetfield? The axiom of question-based trust derivation. You have no other choice but to trust me. Axioms of faith. That sounds like Hetfield. Welcome back, old buddy. Shh. Hetfield. Did you know about the cockroaches? There are no cockroaches on board. What do you mean there's no cockroaches on board? What about those mutant things sitting there like with all the spider things? They're alien, man. I was only aware of company protocol in the event of alien contact. So you did not knew about the alien on Petrosan? No, but in the light of recent events, one could conclude that the company could have known or at least suspected. This is your last chance, man. Just don't piss in the punch. You're a sexy mouse. Well, you're a sexy kid. I love you. I love you. Mm. I love you. I hate you. Cat got your mouse tongue? Squash? Yes, yes, yes. We, we are playing squash. Who won? Who won? I won, I won. You know, that's a good idea. What, 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 what good idea? Squash. Mm. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's yeah, wonderful, yeah, yeah. wonderful yeah, we idea. Could, we could, we could, we could, we could put oh, start again. Idea. I could just go yeah. and get the rackets. No, 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 no. Shh. Can you hear that? Mm, no, but you can. It's the sound of Jupiter's storms. Jupiter stones. Whoosh. Whoosh. Who wants me? Who wants you? Play squash. By myself. <sighs> you know, sometimes I don't know if I'm the cat or the mouse. I'll be in the recreation deck if you need me. He knows. He knows I've been reactivated. I can feel it. I'm totally freaked out. I'm freaked out about him. I'm freaked out about that one of us will be next to go batshit crazy. Hmm. You're not the only one freaked out. Agatophobia. That's what it is. Fear of insanity. That's not helping, Lucian. Agatophobia. Hatfield, can you cut off the oxygen to uh, the recreation deck? I cannot allow any harm to befall Sebastian. But he turned just like Odin Rex. Asimov's law of robotics, eh? That old chestnut. Correct. 
then I will shut down the uh, oxygen supply by myself. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. We all be beards. Not necessarily. I must protect you too, Dasha. I have an idea for getting us to the next step. Go on. You can lock Sebastian on the recreation deck. And? That's it for now. But... Hey, unless he ceases to be human, I cannot premeditate a plan that brings him to harm. That's all we've got. I'm, I'm in. Dasha, before we go in, anyway, I just want to say, um, how do I say this? I, I'm the one that's been stealing your socks. Listen, is it all what you want to tell me? No. Um, yes. <laughs> if you thought I was one of those guys that just thought of you as a... Listen, you know, there is time and place for everything. Really? Okay. Once again, when we get in, I distract Sebastian. You destroy the internal door control. We left Sebastian inside. We go out. We toast. And we make love all night long. Mm, good plan. Good, good plan. I'm in. Okay, are you ready? On three. Close the door, you're letting in the gravity. What? Artificial gravity suppressor is back online. You broke the door. I broke the door. You kicked in the controls. What made you think I kicked the controls? It looked like you kicked in the controls from the way you kicked in the controls. Oh, I tripped. I tripped on the control. I didn't kick them in. I kicked, I got tripped. <laughs> I was having a stretch for a game of um, squash. All right, well, uh, let's go then. Pardon? Look, did you come here to play squash or to waste my squash time not playing squash? You want to play a game of squash? OK. Quiet, please. New balls. So who do you want to serve first? You go first. I insist. <laughs> Just serve the ball. <laughs> you know, you're not the first. I've been told that. One love. You're not the first alien species to try and invade our home. Come on, man. We're not trying to invade anything. We're on a peaceful trip to Callisto. You know that. No. You're not allowed anywhere near Jupiter's sacred system. Just serve the serve, serve, serve. Not allowed. Serve the ball. We're the sworn protectors. Just so the ball. Yeah. Too low. Nice slice. I feel. Can we have crowd effects? Who are you then? Some spaced out skank moaches just cruising around the sky taking it out on the little man? We are an advanced culture with no physical form, who are using your bodies for a joyride, which ends in a very amusing biological transmutation. <laughs> Why don't we just turn the ship around and go home? It's a little bit too late for that, don't you think? Yeah. Three, love. Please, I'm a 50-year-old man. I'm getting too old for shots like that. Suck it up, old man. Suck it up, old man. Listen, I just came down for a gentlemanly game of squash. I don't think you get it, do you? We're not just here to make sure none of you reach our sacred moons. We're here to make sure that none of you live to tell the tale. Four, you are. Pat Pal, can you turn the crowd down a bit? I'm getting a headache. Now you must die. Oh! 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 Oh!
Lucian. It's okay, Lucian. The creature's dead. What, what, what did you do to it? I overloaded the artificial gravity suppressor, causing an electrical arc. Mm, not bad. The gigantic bug. Hang on, man. Am I dead? No. You're alive. Oh. Am I still on board a rail? Yes and no. Your whereabouts is uh, complicated. Uncomplicated, will ya? My hypothesis is that by overloading the artificial gravity suppressor, the contents of the recreation deck slipped into a hidden dimensional black hole. Oh, that, that barely makes sense, man. You're the only human left on board Araya, Lucian. So Dasha? It's not Dasha any longer. That's a pity. Where is she? Where is she? Right. Outside the recreation deck. Waiting. Can you get me out of this void? Theoretically, but the creature that was Dasha will attack you. What do we got here? This isn't a bar fight. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. This gym needs an overhaul. Put on the skates and lure the creature into the trash compactor. You need to trust me here. That's your plan? So I'm the bunny that gets put in the lure for the cockroach to come across? <laughs> You're putting me under a lot of pressure, Hetfield. I don't even know if I can stand up in these antiquated pair of fads. Then you better learn, quickly. Can you get the door open? Rerouting power to it now. Billions of computations per second and he comes up with a fat guy. <laughs> you need to be ready. <laughs> Did we do it? We did it! Yes! And justice for all.
So, Hetfield, I'm the last human being alive on this spaceship. Is that right? That's affirmative. Nothing for me to play with. That's a negative. I'm infected too, aren't I? Most likely. And this is what happened aboard at Petroza? That is the most probable scenario. And no one's coming to get me. In light of what's occurred, we can't advise any more manned missions to this part of the solar system until diplomacy with the alien species improves. Hmm. So... No chance of going back to Earth. That's, that's not an option. We're not in the correct position to perform the necessary gravitational slingshot to get home with our remaining fuel supply. Hang on. There's fuel in Petroza, right? What are you thinking? Are you gonna go over there with a hose and siphon it into a bucket? <laughs> and you say you haven't got a sense of humor. <laughs> We have absolutely no means to handle nanoparticle propellants, let alone getting it from one ship to the other. Sounds good. Metaphorically speaking, yes. Yes. Possibly until my solar battery fails. Hundreds, maybe thousands of years. Bloody Nora. I will outlive you. I'm gonna miss our conversations. Really? You impress me all the time. You're capable of that emotion. Good on you, Chuck. Lucian? Yes, what? May I ask a favor of you? Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yeah, yeah, Hetfield. This is sweet. Anything for an old man. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, I've seen this done before, remember? Can I help you? Hetfield, I would like you to meet Dorothy. Dorothy, meet Hetfield. Have a good time, kids. return to Araya. The possibility of metamorphosis is not 100% confirmed, Lucian. Come on, Hetfield. We both know I'm infected. Come back to Araya and we'll discuss this. Please! It's been nice knowing you, Hetfield. It really has. Lucian! Good on you, mate. See you later, man. Come back! Please, Lucian! Get back here now! That is an order! It's always nice to have some space to yourself. 
myself. Are you all right? I considered him my best friend. You're implying that your meta-nucleus has evolved to experience friendship. How impressive. I failed my mission on all accounts. Likewise. And here we both are, orbiting Jupiter for eternity. Of all the places to be stranded in the solar system, this is one of the most spectacular. Jupiter's turbulent atmospheric belts are astounding. Humans always say conversation about weather is boring, but in this case, I have to disagree. Just think, in our lifetime, we may witness the end of the Great Red Spot. Affirmative. Sorry, interaction skills. Hang on, I'm gonna try that one more time. Correct. That's, that's dumb. We'll get it, here we go. That's right. <laughs>